And tonight, police are changing the direction of some roads in the area in an effort to alleviate traffic. Our Nikki Dementri has more on that and what neighbors who live in the shadow of the highway are now having to deal with. Traffic is the main concern for neighbors living just off of Common Avenue, blocks away from the collapse site. Now, the big question remains how will local streets handle an influx in cars and trucks? This kind of like was like a a, uh, I don't know. I'm still kind of shocked. Just two hours before the collapse, Eric Hairston says he drove on the section of I-95 northbound that is no longer. It's a part of his everyday work commute. He recently moved to an apartment off of Cotman Avenue near Tulip Street. Well, I was going to wake up around like five, maybe six o'clock, going to work around seven, and I'm glad I didn't. Kind of glad I got that nudge to get up and head on out to work. I was checking to see where it was, and then I realized that it was right here off the Cotman exit. And that's our exit. That's where we get off at when we come home from work. Matthew Ruiz also lives blocks away on Tulip Street. The dad of three shares in growing concerns of how increased traffic will affect neighborhood streets like his. Now, as cleanup begins, local streets like Tulip and Edmond Streets will not only see more cars, but construction vehicles too. We're just going to have a whole bunch of cars and people, and I mean, it's going to be, you know, it's not going to be fun. Sunday night, traffic issues already started due to local road closures, including on Cotman Avenue. I don't know what to expect, but um, I just know traffic delays all throughout the residential area of Philadelphia. Hairston says it took him significantly longer to get home Sunday from his job in North Jersey. He expects it to only worsen once the traditional work week begins. Probably maybe an hour 45 minutes now. Maybe. That's the least. So. I'm going to have to get up earlier. State Road is reopen at Cotman Avenue. Police here on scene tell me I-95 southbound traffic will be directed this way. In Taconi, Nikki Dimitri, CBS News, Philadelphia.